Hey, how's it going everyone? What is up and welcome back to the channel and another MK11 discussion video. Before we get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications and also like the video. It helps out the channel more than you could ever know. And don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you want me to talk about. I love doing suggestive videos, so make sure to leave them. Also, don't forget about the Patreon if you guys would like to support the channel a lot more and see the videos early. You can go to the link in the description down below. If you'd like to see the videos early, $5 big boys and up get to see the videos early. Also, don't forget about Juju and Energy. Juju Energy is our partner. They have seven different amazing flavors and you can get 10% off of your purchase with code TUTIN. Link in the description below to their website. So check them out, but let's go ahead and jump into this one. Today we're talking about Aftermath Part 2 and whether it's likely or not. Because a lot of people have been like talking about it. A lot of people have been asking whether there's going to be an Aftermath Part 2 because there was an Aftermath Part 1 and that was the first time it was ever done. You know, will lightning strike twice? Are they going to give us more story DLC to kind of finish off the story of MK11? And it really is a good question because Aftermath Part 1 kind of ended on a, on a cliffhanger. I mean, uh, of sorts. It ended with two endings. We got the good ending with Liu Kang uh, going back to the Great Kung Lao and everything else. And then we have the bad ending, which I actually think is the true ending with Shang Tsung uh taking over the entire universe and raiding and fusion and sending them to conquer chaos realm that ending just seems more realistic to me when it comes to like uh, how everything was going to play out and everything else a lot of people have been going back and forth on it um uh, debating on which ending is real or not and either way whichever ending's real i still think it would be cool to see an aftermath part two or something of that sort but I really just don't think it's likely. I think it is very likely that we're going to get story DLC for future Mortal Kombat games or even Injustice games, whatever IP that they do. Uh, next, whether it's Mortal Kombat, Injustice, Marvel vs. DC, Mortal Kombat vs. Marvel, Mortal Kombat vs. DC again. I do think this was a good foundation for story DLC. I do think that it is very likely that from here on out, uh, each new game, we could get some story DLC to introduce some new characters and maybe even give us like an Elseworld uh ending to the game you know we have our base ending from the game and then we have a secondary ending maybe that's what they were going for with aftermath but i don't think it's very likely that we're going to see an aftermath part two with mk11 uh, because there is so much more story to tell and if they did want to continue on with that shang sung story uh with his ending they would probably want to do that with a whole game considering that they'd be going into chaos realm and order realm and Probably a few other different realms with a lot of different characters. They probably want to save that for a whole game. That's just my opinion. Uh, but a lot of people are going back and forth. There's been a lot of leaks come out. There's been a lot of leaks actually saying differently than what I'm saying. Saying that there's going to be a combat pack 2, a combat pack 3, and an aftermath part 2. Or at the very least, a combat pack 2 and an aftermath part 2. Uh, of course, I don't work there, uh, so I have no idea. It just it, it doesn't make sense to me at this point to get another uh, Aftermath DLC, especially with them spacing out the DLCs as much as they are. Uh, previously, when Aftermath Part 1 came out, I guess I didn't understand the time span of releases, like how, how far apart they're going to be distancing DLCs from each other. So I thought an Aftermath Part 2 was very likely, along with uh, a Combat Pack 2 and everything else, but... I was very wrong, uh, so I'm really starting to doubt in Aftermath Part 2. I could be wrong, I would be happy if I was wrong, I'd love to have a, another story DLC Aftermath Part 1 was dope, but at this point, I, I just, I don't see it happening. But that's gonna do it for this video guys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, it's a little bit shorter of a video, uh, we're looking forward to the Gamescom today. And, uh, you know, I had to wake up early and get this out for you guys. But I did want to talk about this. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Don't forget about the Patreon if you guys would like to support the channel in a bigger way. You can go to the link in the description down below. And support on Patreon. If you are a $5 and up big boy, you get to do you get to watch the videos early. Jeez, words. And also, don't forget about Juju Energy. If you guys would like to try out one of their seven amazing flavors, go to the link in the description down below to their website and use code TUTIN for 10% off of whatever you order. Also, guys, thank you so much for 5K subscribers. I am going to be working on the 5K special tonight and maybe tomorrow, depending on how long it takes to get made. Thank you all so much. That is surreal and fucking amazing. Thank you. My name is Tootin, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.